What is happening, people? And welcome to today's video. We're going to go over the ins and outs and the do's and do nots of the kettlebell uppercut. Now, just this week, I released a video doing some kettlebell uppercuts on Instagram, and a bunch of people were wondering how I can move the bell so quickly. So I thought what I would do is just take a couple minutes and show some of the intricacies of the movement and give you guys the do's as well as the do nots. Now, the very first do that I want to talk about is that when you were performing the kettlebell uppercut, you need to start out here on the ground with one of your knees up, almost like you're taking a stupid JV baseball picture. Now, whichever knee you choose to have raised, that is the direction that you are going to be rotating toward. So just like you're swinging a bat or you're throwing a ball or you're throwing a punch, you need your hips open in that direction so they can swivel towards that way. Now, when I say open, I mean they really need to be open. Your leg almost needs to make an L in shape as far as your starting position, and you want that knee that is up, that toe is pointed away from you. Which brings me to my very first don't, which is do not take this kettlebell and rocket it into the side of your knee. Trust me, that is not gonna be cool. It's gonna be a big battering ram to your kneecap and nothing is gonna go. Well, the second don't that I wanna mention right here is that this is a ballistic movement. You're gonna be swinging this thing as hard as you possibly can. So you're gonna to wanna to have a really good grip on it because if you loosen up at all, the chance of this thing turning into a projectile are pretty high. Plus, the harder that you squeeze this thing, the more velocity you're gonna actually be able to create through the range of motion. So, squeeze as hard as you can and make sure that you are not letting go of it. Third thing you should probably know about the kettlebell uppercut and kinesiology in general is that the body is always going to follow the head. So before you go rocketing this kettlebell up, you need to look at where the bell is going to go before you place it there. So do always turn your head before you initiate your hips. Fourth thing that you're gonna to need to know is that the hips are what initiates this movement. You opening your hips and twisting your head and your hips throw your arms and they are just the vehicle at which this kettlebell travels through. You should not be using your arms to move this kettlebell through space the same way that you don't use your arms on a kettlebell swing if you're doing it correctly. Your hips should shift and your head should shift so that it actually throws the kettlebell and just the momentum is what carries it through the range of motion. Fifth thing you're probably gonna to wanna to know is that you should lead this kettlebell by the handles when you swing it. So it's just as if when I got to the top, I would be giving a thumbs up sign, all right? You're not going to give a thumbs up sign for the sheer fact that that is gonna increase the chances of you actually rocketing the kettlebell out into space. So you're not gonna to want to do that, but either side, whichever way you're going, you're going to want to be leading with the handle going in the direction that you are swinging. And finally, the sixth thing about the kettlebell uppercut that you're gonna to wanna to know is the breathing and bracing should be the same as in the squat or the deadlift. Here you should be getting a big belly breath of air, bracing it down before you start to rotate. Now you will hear me giving little exhales at the top, but that's the same way as like when you're punching, you're exhaling at the extension of your punch. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're losing your brace or your breathing, you're just giving a little bit out and you're rebreathing on the way back in. So if you can do that, that's great, but if you're not, just do your normal breathing and bracing, get as many reps as you can through that range of motion on that one breath, rebreathe in the back, and then re go again. I think it's also probably very important to mention here that you do not need a kettlebell to do the kettlebell uppercut. This can be replaced with a medicine ball, with a weight plate, with a dumbbell, anything that is appropriate for getting somewhere between five to eight reps during this movement. So that's it, that is what I have on the kettlebell uppercut. You need to make sure that your legs are in a perpendicular, open type position so you can fully swing your hips. You need to make sure that you're looking where the bell goes, that you're initiating the movement with your hips and not your arms. When your arms are following through, you're leading with the handle, so you're giving a thumbs up position, but not really giving that thumbs up because we don't want to throw the kettlebell. And then your breathing and bracing should be the same as on your squat or your deadlift. If you do those things, you should do this okay, and this is an excellent exercise for virtually any type of athletic endeavor because athletics happen on one leg in twisting motions, doing crazy things. They don't happen in static, perfect type of balance. Anyway, you guys get the basic idea here. This is an awesome, awesome exercise that I really like to use as an oblique variation on my upper body giant sets. And you guys can use that to anywhere you like. I hope this will be helpful and useful to some of you. Thank you guys for all the support over there on Instagram as well as here and all the ways that you guys support the channel. And especially for the coaching calls. I've been doing a ton of those lately and it has been absolutely awesome to meet so many of you and just has such awesome conversations. So if you are interested in doing a one hour coaching call with me, make sure you email me at neversate at gmail.com while we are still running the sale throughout the holiday uh, on the coaching calls so you can get it for a little bit cheaper right now. But I thank you guys so much for absolutely everything you do. I will catch up with you later in the week. Until I do go out, something amazing in your lives. Keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then.